guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori, and today I have a Dollar Tree haul for you and no coffee. Okay, I do have coffee, it's just over there. <laughs> I went to Starbucks this morning. Uh, it's Saturday, I'm filming this, and I ran out early to take my bike to the truck store to get some service done on it. So, I made a couple stops, got some Dollar Tree hauling for you, and I wanted to share with you some of the things I picked up. Now, let's get started. I have some springy Easter crafty and some homey stuff. So, let's do the homey stuff first. I grabbed some wax paper. Um, I don't typically use this to, well, I never use it to cook with. You don't want to cook with wax paper. The wax will melt into your food. But, I use this more for crafting. Um, I like to lay it on my table, stuff I'm going to be painting or whatever. Um, and it's also good for like freezing, like packaging stuff in the freezer. So yeah, 65 square feet is not bad. It's uh, 21 yards of waxed paper. So I grabbed that for one shiny dollar. I picked up for my office. Some more canned air um you know maybe it's not the best economically but it works out great for me typically i use it because the cats who are both sleeping and staring at me at the same time um are all over my desk during the day when i'm working in a shed so i just and it gets the fur out of my keyboard and life. So I grabbed two of those. I love them. I think they work fantastic. So I have two cans of that. Um, I found another notebook. I know, I know, but look at it. What? I love it. It says like a boss and it's just lined paper. So I grabbed this. Yeah, we won't talk about it. We're not talking about it. Um, I found, I know everybody's been hauling the hard candy. I'm not a primer setting spray kind of girl. However, this is coconut water infused primer. It's a hydrating mist. So I'm like, I need to try this. Even if I just use it, not before I put makeup on. I'm kind of in the, let's get ready for summer mood. Including I went online and ordered some sunblock. Um, for my face already but so this says it's infused with coconut oil it doesn't have it has electrolytes energize and hydrate it's oil and silicone free and it's a pump so what we're going to do is spray it on our arm Ooh, doesn't smell bad um i'm going to do a little research but i felt like this would be great after being in the sun or on my bike, but we'll see. I'm gonna do a little research. I need to get the magnifying glass out to read the, it just says use as a primer to hydrate and prep skin or apply on top of makeup to set. So it's, you know, just a, a face spray. So I grabbed that because it was $1. I picked up on that line, some bold glitter mascara. I just thought it was fun, guys. I do wear mascara. I wear makeup. I just don't wear a lot of bait, uh, foundation. It's gold glitter. And I was um, actually needing mascara. So we'll see how it works. And this is also by the brand Hard Candy. I've been seeing a lot of makeup, but I don't need makeup in my life. I mean, I'm, I have plenty, I should say. All right, in the housewares, well, this is actually not in the housewares item. It's just um, apple cider vinegar with the mother. I saw a video the other day of this woman that used it in a foot soak, and it helped with, like, dry skin and stuff. And it's that time of year where i got to think about my feet and being on display. So we're going to try it. I don't know if it'll work or not, but, I mean, you always need apple cider vinegar, right? It just takes a couple tablespoons in your foot soak. So I grabbed it because we need that. Now I am, oh, I found this. I'm so excited to be able to scrub my back. I love this little baby blue color. They had it in all different colors. Um, I don't know how often you're supposed to replace these. I'm thinking like once a month or two, 
but um, I was excited to find this with the wooden handle. So if, you know, if you have somebody in your life that you are thinking about putting together for Christmas, birthday, Mother's Day, uh, gift, birthday, whatever, um, and you're going to put together like a little beauty bag, I would start right here because this is quality. It's got a nice wooden handle and it's pretty stable too. So I grabbed it. Everybody's been hauling it. I know it's nothing new, but sorry. It's the first time I saw them in my stores. Okay. So I've talked about bicycling. I also do some backpacking. Uh, my friend Jen and I, if you're watching, hi Jen, um, are potentially going out this summer to do some backpacking. And I bought some of this to try because I don't remember if I like it or not. It's just instant coffee. But it says 50% more coffee in each packet. I don't know what that means. Was Were they shorting me the last time? What? I would tell you what else this stuff is great for. Chocolate frosting, chocolate cake. Just pour one of these in. Um, coffee makes chocolate taste more chocolatey. And I believe that's what I had them for. But anyway, it's supposed to make eight ounce cup. We'll see. I just want to try it. See if I like it. I know it's a name brand, Nescafe. Um, the other brand I would think about trying it that I will try, oh, they went Alex, is the um, Starbucks Via. So we'll see. I just want to start here for one shiny dollar. So I grabbed one because I'm not going anywhere without coffee. A. We should start there. And then I found some fun stuff. First off, this is for kids. It's a copper buff face protector. I actually got it for my little cousin. I believe she has a trip to the Galapagos Islands coming up if they haven't canceled it yet. It's just a buff, but it's a child size buff. You know, it's not going to fit me, but if it did, it would be awesome. Um, needs to be washed, but it's pink and it's infused with copper and yeah, just a buff. And I think that taking, you know, being on the airplane or in the you know, in an island, this would be great to put our hair up, protect sun protection, and a mask all in one. I'll see. If she doesn't like it, it's okay. But it is by the brand Guardwell. This is definitely not a Dollar Tree product. And that's kind of what it looks like on the back. And it's for kids. And I think that's great because I don't think there's enough products like this size wise for a youth and if not her mom debbie has a child size head and maybe she would like this too i just thought it was a good idea to pick it up okay then i found this and i believe this is name brand coralite it's a pain relief balm now riding my bike backpacking hiking walking trails exercise i'm gonna hurt and i wanted to try this it says that it is good. It is camphor and menthol. And it relieves minor aches and pains due to simple backache, arthritis, strains, bruises, sprains. And look at the size of this little tent container. Guys, if we ever get to travel, <laughs> I, need, I need a vacation. I am anxious, anxious, anxious. But if we ever get to travel, this is definitely TSA approved. So I will say when I fly... I have a sciatic nerve that's pinched and sometimes it starts hurting if I sit too long and this is perfect perfect to throw in my carry-on bag I also use biofreeze but I mean they're gonna smell me coming with this but it's just enough for like I don't know a little trip I don't have to take the big tubes of anything. I can literally just go into the bathroom and put this on my, if it's my hip and my thigh is what hurts. I can rub it in and go back to my seat and it's literally half an ounce, 0.63 ounces. So I grabbed one. I'm going to try it. If I like it, I will get a second. I don't, again, I don't know if this is name brand, if this is something that the Dollar Tree has always carried and I've never seen it. I don't know. I feel like I'm, I don't know. I've never seen it there before, but I think this is great. I love this stuff and like my shoulder when I, before I had shoulder surgery. So that's perfect. On the same lines, I picked up a tube of anti-itch cream. Now it says it's good for poison ivy, poison oak, poison sumac. I'm allergic to all three. 
but like I break out, but it's also good for insect bites. And with summer coming, I'm always getting bitten by something and itching. And I thought this is perfect. It's the same active ingredient that's in Benadryl. It's $1 for a decent sized tube. It is 1.25 ounce tube. So I don't have any of this in my first aid container. Um, I believe when I purge, I don't know what the date is on this. This is going to be good until the uh, 2023 August, but I had one that had expired, so I tossed it. And I'm just starting to think, like, summer's coming. What are the things that I typically need in the summertime that I go through a lot of? Sunblock, bug bite cream if we're going to be out camping or if I'm going to go out to my cousins and we do a bonfire or something. So anti-itch cream. You know, we're outside in the summer. It's time to start thinking about this stuff and not wait till the last minute. That's kind of what I was thinking. Like, I don't want to wait till the last minute. I'll just put all this in a, I have a plastic drawer in my closet, in my bathroom closet. I'll just toss it all in there and then I know where it's at. And I already just bought antibacterial ointment and new band-aids because I was, I really just refreshed all of that. Um, I also found this little to-go Clorox wipe. I'm telling you, I used to carry stuff like this when I flew, before any kind of pandemic, or when I went on a cruise, or whatever. These are great. The little tray table in front of you, I can tell you that nobody cleans those. It's gross. Little, you know, clean your airplane, but also, if you go to a hotel, you can wipe down the surfaces. These are great, and it just, um, to-go, there's nine wipes in here. Isn't that a random number, nine? Um... It only weighs 2.3 ounces. It is Clorox, so it's gonna it's gonna kill like any viruses, the norovirus. You know, these I know that we're all about the coronavirus right now and COVID-19, but there are other viruses out there that can get you. The norovirus. That's what happens on cruise ships when everybody starts throwing up. This will help. So I just grabbed one to throw into my little summer adventure bucket. Sarah and I have a little trip planned that. And I say a trip. I mean, we're, uh, and I say we, but me, and I'm taking her with me. Decided that when the border to Canada opens, we're probably going to go up to Windsor. It's about three hours from me and go to a bunch of Dollaramas and Canadian Dollar Trees and do a video on international Dollar Trees. I mean, isn't that sound fun? And we'll get like an Airbnb or a hotel and take her dog with us and just make a weekend of it and do some outdoor stuff with Luna and, you know whatever, but as soon as the border opens. But things like this, I love to have on hand to just grab and throw in my car to for along the way or whatever. I mean, obviously I'm not going on any airplane trips, but I, I can certainly take some day trips this summer. And on that lines, I found this. Now this is name brand. Frog Togs is a brand of outdoor um, things. I think they're best known for their ring gear, but it's a little chamois. It's only this wide and it's, you know, a couple, I don't know if it tells me how long it is, 29 inches long. And it's like um, a sham wow or something. These are fantastic, fantastic. If you've got a kid in sports, then you probably already know this. And my, I didn't know it until I saw my little cousins doing it, but they put these in the cooler and when the ice melts, it gets these really cold and then they wring them out and wipe down and it keeps the kids cool with outdoor activities. But the same thing goes as an adult, if you're out sweating to death, doing whatever, yard work, walking, hiking, riding your bike, outdoor activities, shopping, going to the fair, whatever, these are great to have and it's tiny. And again, this you know weighs like an ounce dry. Now it's gonna add weight when it's wet. And again, for travel, perfect to, you know, if you're camping and you get condensation in your tent or water spills. This really is, they're very absorbent. And for $1, I've got several, but I don't know exactly where they all are. So I definitely am going to put this, I need to wash it out. I'm just going to run it with some hot water and loosen it up. And then it's going to get stored. You can see the lampshade that drives everybody crazy. I can't get it to go straight. The cats keep knocking it over. Sorry. That little container right there, that's a Dollar Tree container that I'm pointing at. That's all my cycling stuff. My helmet, 
all the things I leave in the car and I will put one of these in there. So when I get back from a bike ride, I will just pour water on it. Even if the water is not cool, I can wipe my face and get salt and, you know, stuff off. Because that's what you do. I found two outdoor things that I've never, I might have seen this there before, but I know I've never seen this. So this is a flashlight lamp, two in one. And what's going on in Texas kind of has me a little paranoid too. Like, I understand what's going on down there. I used to live in Texas when I was young. I get it. You know, we would get a dusting of snow and they would literally have to cancel school because they're just not prepared. They don't have salt trucks and plows. So, you know, what they're going through now, I'm not getting into the politics of it. I'm just saying it's unfortunate what's happening down there now. And I got to thinking, you know, am I prepared if I would lose power? I mean, I know I would be warm. I have a wood burning fireplace. I have a camp stove. I could make coffee. That is a priority, guys. I know. But I know that my cats and I, I have down comforters. I have a fireplace. We would be warm. But do I have lights? Do I have all the other things? And I, the answer to that is probably no. And honestly, if I did, I don't know where they are. So I grabbed this. It's pretty unassuming. I liked that it has this little carabiner so it can hang from something. It has a, um, a little kickstand back here. Oop. It takes three AA battery, AA? I think AA. I'm pretty sure it's AA. Yeah, three AA batteries, which, you know, I have plenty of batteries. And yeah, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna put batteries in and everything, but I have a little emergency thing if I can get it to go back together. Do I need better than this? Sure. Is this going to be fine for now? Yep. And also, again, road trips. I can't get it to go back together. There. I was putting it in the wrong spot. Um, and it does, it has a clip, a kickstand, so we can clip it, kickstand it, or hang it. It has a flat, a spotlight and then just a general light. I just think this would be perfect to have in any situation, you know? A little flashlight. So I grabbed one of those. I'll just go in my drawer. Then I saw this. I've never seen one of these before at the Dollar Tree. It's a headlamp. What? I'm going to show you too. And this one comes with its batteries. It takes two button batteries. And. I mean, again, is this going to be the best quality? No, but is it going to come in handy? Absolutely. So it comes with an elastic headband dealy. Um, oh, okay, 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 okay. It was like in no directions. Yes, it does, Lori. Has these little hooks on the side. I'm just going to... See if I can't get it together quickly. That might be a yes and it might be a no. I don't know. I'm actually, yes, I can get it together quickly. I'm actually ordering a headlamp um, when I'm out on my bike or, you know, walking or whatever. It's always good to have a light source. So you pull this little dilly out and it only has, ooh, it only has two settings, so watch this. I have worn headlamps before. I'm not gonna try to blind you, but one, it's a light. Press it again. It's a flasher if you have an emergency, but watch. And now I can light up if I need to read a map or whatever. Is it super bright? No, but again, am I gonna be able to See, in an emergency situation, I sure am. And I will tell you, headlamps are great, especially if you lose power. Like, I might even buy another one and not pull the tab and just leave it in its package and put it with my little emergency kit. These are great to have if you lose power and you're walking around your house and you're trying to get things situated. And it has adjustable straps. For $1, this is great. So I may pick up a secondary one and put it in with this and my batteries in like a little emergency pack just to have around. Right Alex is laying over here. He's so funny. He doesn't need to be on camera all the time like Wellington, but he certainly likes to be close. Okay, 
So that's all the householdy first aidy. Apparently, like I'm a prepper now. I'm a prepper. Now we have Easter and spring, and I found these paper straws just for decoration. To be honest with you, I'll probably put them on my coffee bar. I could use them as a stir. Um, but they are a 18 pack and you get nine with the stripes and nine with the polka dots. And then they also have matching little, they're called dessert cups, but I don't know what it's going to be. I love them. I actually used the set to color my Easter eggs and they worked out very well for that. They hold a cup. Yeah. They hold one cup of whatever. If you're having like a little Easter get together, you could fill them full of treats uh, ice cream sundaes would be great in here. I probably would just stick this in a cup and put these out and use them for like snacks or something. I found the bunny. Here's what I'm going to find super interesting. Let's sniff this, shall we? Because the other one smells like the ocean. Ooh. It's not bad. It just smells like food. It's supposed to smell like carrot cupcake. Carrot cupcake and ocean. But whatever. It's the bunny, little soap dispenser. I just think it's adorable. And for one shiny dollar, guys, it's cute. I put the uh, the chick in my bathroom, and I'll probably put that in my kitchen or upstairs in my bathroom. I did find one of these just because I think it's adorable. I don't know what I have no need for it in my life, but it's cute. And you could totally, like... Cut these straps off and put some greenery back here or fill it full of you know candy to deliver to somebody a little gift bag some little put fill it full of easter eggs to sit it out for a decoration i just thought it was adorable and this is just um it's just felt cheap old felt now this is coming off but it's just glued on I'm not that concerned, but if you wanted to take this off and use it as a decoration, you know, use it in a decoration or for crafting, it does, it just glued on there. So that's exciting. Um, just for crafting purposes, I picked up the floral foam. I like it when it's pre-cut because it's not as messy. Cutting floral foam, if you've ever done it, is really messy. Uh, but when it's pre-cut like that, I don't, it's not as messy. So I always try to keep that on hand. And I believe I'm down to one little square. Um, my store got this cotton twine. This is 100% cotton crafting string. It's 180 feet. There's a lot of twine in here. Not a Dollar Tree product. It is a Simply Home. And it's like baker's twine. So I will definitely use the red and white at Christmas time. And then I got this pretty yellow for summer. I thought that was beautiful. This denim -y blue color and then plain black. They had other colors, but I just felt like these four colors I would get a lot of use out of. So I grabbed those just to have, you know, I'm trying not to buy just because things, but something like string, I, I use it on the regular. I picked up an arrow. Now, I was looking for the shorter, fatter one, but people have figured out that if you turn them this way, they make a house, so I have yet to find them at my store after that little pin came out on Pinterest. But um, you will see I ride in Pelotonia, we talked about this, my bicycle ride, and one of their biggest, um, I don't know what it's called, arrows are all in their like their logo and their marketing materials it's all about the arrow it's all about moving forward and for this year i'm going to paint this and put something on it for pelotonia to remind me why i'm getting up at six o'clock in the morning to go ride a sweaty bike ride i think that's a motivator i don't know i love it and i thought this is perfect so i grabbed it to decorate for that I picked up these boxes. Guys, if you see them, this is a big box. It's the Voila brand. And I don't know how big it is, but they're nice. They, I saw these in my store in like four different colors. So what I'm doing, I love my planner. This is not a surprise. I'm a planner girl. I always have been. But I was like looking at planner boxes thinking, oh, that would be fun for next year. 
So I already had my planner set up for this year. I'm not gonna go out and buy all new materials, but in the middle of summer, the Happy Planner brand, it's me and my big idea. They make the Happy Planners. They will come out with their 2022 planner. So my thought is I'm gonna order some pens and my stickers and my planner and I'm not opening anything. I'm just gonna stick it in this box and then come December when I'm ready to set up or November when I'm ready to set up my planner for next year, it'll be like a surprise. I mean, I will know what's in it, but I won't have tested out the new pens I buy. I will be able to set up my planner and it will just keep everything nice and organized. So this is gonna be for my 2021 planner accessories. As I buy things or find things or get things, they're gonna go in here and then we'll do an opening at the end of the year when I'm ready. So I'm excited. So like when the planner comes for Happy Planner, when I order it, I'm not even opening it. I'm not gonna look at it. I'm just gonna stick it right in that box. And the same thing with all the pens and stickers and all that, right in the box. I know it sounds silly, but it makes me happy. I found an Easter sign. I love this Easter sign, guys. How fun is that? This is all flat. The only bit of glitter is happy. This is three-dimensional, which I love. The only thing is weird. It's a little bowed, but that's okay. This is going to hang off my mantle. I already know where it's going, and I'm excited. Um... I like it a lot. It's um, one of those signs where they just have this, like the paper tape to the front of the press board. It doesn't matter to me. I'm gonna use this. It's gonna hang off my mantle and it says Happy Easter and I liked it. And I love the rustic kind of, I just don't want all the shiny, shiny. Then I found, which is gonna actually complement it, and my store had two of these. And it's the carrot garland. I'm gonna put one, I think, in my office. And I have one already hanging on my mantle because I wasn't sure if it would fit. And it sure does. So I have an extra and I'm gonna hang this probably off my calyx behind me in my office. I just think these are adorable. And if you could get like little, you could do something in between and hang it because you've got plenty of room. But I think these are adorable. And for $1, you really can't beat it. Um, they did come out with pins guys it's a bunny butt it is the bunny butt I love it and then they have some with these faces on it and I love this tealy color and I'm just gonna sit it up like this it's probably gonna go in my tear tray because it's a bunny butt and then they had bunny faces oh my gosh so cute so I grabbed that they had them in different sizes but this is the preferred one for me I did not need more than one just have a couple things left I did find uh, one of these like ceramic, I guess, eggs with my initial on it. Not the best quality, but it's okay. It's only going to be out for a little while and I love it. They had, at my store, they just had a couple. And I actually hit the store, um, if you're local to me, it's on Broad Street in Reynoldsburg, out near the Target. But they had put out a bunch of their Easter stuff this morning. I got there like just a couple minutes after nine and things were already flying off the shelf. But I found that. And then the last thing I found, which I think are completely adorable guys, they're little gumball machines. That's a bunny head and this is an egg, but I don't, I don't think it's gonna hold gumballs. And if it does, they're little, but it's a functioning gumball machine. But if you look at the size of the opening, I think, and I'm gonna try it, it's gonna hold M&Ms. I think that the, uh, just a generic, plain old, plain M&M will fit in there or a Skittle or tiny, tiny little um, gumballs. You could also just fill with pom-poms. If you're not going to eat the candy, which I won't, I'll give it to Sarah. But, oh my gosh, guys, isn't that adorable? You could decorate this. And then the bunny, same thing, bunny head comes off and you fill up the bunny. Oh, this is like so adorable. So I grabbed one of each and here's the thing, they're interchangeable. So if you wanted to gift somebody the pink bottom with the, you know, with the egg top, just switch them. Or if you have a bowl, you know, whatever, it doesn't matter. They're, I feel like either one is gender neutral to be, for, to be honest with you, but they are interchangeable. So if you wanted 
for your decor. The one thing about the egg, the bunny head, is you really got to crank it around. Where this, it doesn't matter where the front is, but they're totally interchangeable. Um, and the reason that I bought it is I think the pink is going to go better with my decor. <laughs> but then I was like, girl, you're nuts. It's Easter. See, here's the one thing. You really have to crank this bunny head around to get it to line up properly. And then it's going to break. Uh, there to get him to line up properly you really gotta to work it to get his head to to do it where the easter egg it doesn't matter so that is everything i got on this week's haul i know i said i would have the candy haul last week but i think i'm gonna have the candy haul this week i want to stop and see if my other store has just a couple more pieces of candy plus i want to get some m&ms to fill that up and then i will record that maybe this afternoon so i can have it up later this week but i gotta get my easter shirt on so i am going to pet my baby kitties they're both snoring away over here and i will talk with y'all later i gotta go pick up my bike bye have a good one